Okay, now we will be coming to the investing. As you already know, it's for fundamentals. That part you know, and uh, it shows you the news and for what currency those news will be. So now let's come to these things here. The actual forecast and previous because uh, there's a lot of confusion and a lot of misconception. So we'll start off with uh, the previous, this one here. Let's just see that, the previous. The previous is the previous reading or the previous statistic re released for that currency. And the news were for the German manufacturing PMI. So the previous reading was this one, 43.1. 43.1 was the previous reading. So uh, then there will come the forecast or the consensus. This is what is forecasted by uh, or forecast by the labor statistics or the people who will be releasing those uh, news. This is what they forecast their reading to be. So this is what they forecast the news to, the reading to be. So usually when you get on the calendar, you will see uh, the previous reading and the forecast for those particular news. So here they had a forecast of 43.1. So when the actual comes out, when the actual reading comes out, uh, how it will impact the market so uh, remember, this is 90% of the time. We are speaking about 90% of the time. It's not always 100%. 90% of the time, this is how it will react. So if the actual reading comes out and you find that it's greater than the forecast, that means it's positive for this currency, this euro currency. That's positive or bullish for this euro currency. That's why right now you can see that uh, it's colored in green. So if the, f the actual comes and it's lower than the forecast, it will be negative for the currency and it will be in red. So uh, we can also take the previous reading into consideration. We can take the previous reading into consideration when uh, determining the impact you know because you might find that right now since as you can see the forecast is equivalent to the previous what they forecast is equivalent to the previous so if the reading comes out greater than the for not uh, if it comes out not only greater than the forecast but greater than both the forecast and the previous reading that means it will be very bullish. I hope you get what I'm saying. Uh, the, uh, the bullishness will, will, will have high impact. It will be highly impacted strength. But then if you find that uh, the reading beat the forecast, but then was lower than the previous, that means that uh, it, might, it might be slightly bullish. So if it beats the previous and the forecast, that's where you'll see action. That's where you'll see the bullish action. action. So let's try finding uh, another news release, which was negative. Okay, yeah, like this one. The previous was 51.7 year on year the ism manufacturing pmi the previous was 51.7 then they forecasted uh 52.0 so that means they focus they had a forecast they were forecasting growth because from 51.7 to 52.0 is a growth of 0 0.3 around 0. yeah 0 0.3 so the actual reading was lower than the forecast and also lower than the previous reading 
so if you went to uh, if you go to the market you'll see that uh the bullish impact because it was bullish for usd it was weakness for usd uh, the weakness was very great the bullish impact uh, uh was 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 felt so i hope uh, you're still following what i'm saying but then had it been lower than the forecast but then higher than the previous let's say a reading of 51.9 as you can see it's lower than this number is lower than the forecast but then it's greater than the previous reading it would still be bullish it would be in red no bearish sorry okay i was saying bullish the whole time it's bearish weakness is bearish so uh, i apologize i correct the bullish bearish weakness rate bearish so the bearish uh impact would be there but then it wouldn't be great because the focus was uh no the actual was no yes it was lower than the focus but then uh it was higher than the previous so it would be bearish but then at the same time not that very much so let's uh, look at future news tomorrow we have let's go to AUD retail sales you find that they have given you a previous the forecast then the actual since the, the news hasn't occurred the actual reading will be there at uh, 330 as you can see the news is at 330 3.30 a.m. So the actual reading will be released at 3.30 a.m. So if the actual reading beats the forecast, let's say 0.4%, 0.5, 0.4 going upwards, you'll find that it will be very bullish or strong for the AUD currency because 0.4% is greater than 0.3 which is the forecast and also 0.1 which is the previous but then if you find that at 0.2 it will be bearish or weak for AUD because it's lower than the forecast but then it might not be that much bearish or that much weak because it's still 0.2 is still higher than the previous but then if you find that it's let's say 0 0.1 or 0 or negative something it will be very bearish or it will be very weak for AUD because not only is the actual reading lower than the forecast but it's also lower than the previous so this is how it is a forecast is just uh, what uh, the department it might be labor or let me just say sector uh, is forecasting for that particular release it doesn't mean that it will be like that it's just their focus so if a reading is greater than the forecast then it's usually bullish for the currency if it's lower than the forecast it's usually bearish for the currency even if you can tap on sorry for that even if you can tap you'll see just that my network is slow but then they will also tell you if you read this message here if you read this message here they will tell you that uh, a reading that is stronger than forecast is generally supportive or bullish for the AUD while weaker than forecast reading is generally negative bearish for the AUD then that's that i hope i've cleared everything further questions uh, feel free to ask